Hey guys, welcome back to Next Level Gardening. Today, we're gonna to be dealing with a common garden pest, ants. If you've been dealing with these tiny invaders in your garden, you are in the right place. We're gonna show you six natural and effective methods to get rid of ants and keep your garden thriving. Let us know in the comments if you have an ant issue and what you've done to try to get rid of them. And let us know if it was effective or not. Ants are often attracted to food sources. In the garden, this usually includes two things, fallen fruits, and honeydew produced by aphids. Cleaning up fallen fruit is pretty easy and straightforward, and guess what? So is getting rid of honeydew. Just take a gallon of warm water in a sprayer, add a few drops of dish soap, shake it up to get it nice and sudsy, and spray that soapy solution all over the plants. Repeat as necessary. Regularly cleaning up these attractants will make your garden less attractive to ants. A physical barrier can work wonders. Sprinkle food grade diatomaceous earth or cinnamon around your garden beds to create a physical barrier around plants or whole planters. Diatomaceous earth and cinnamon are really the only two things I've seen that are natural that really create an effective barrier that ants won't cross. We all know what cinnamon is, but diatomaceous earth is made from the fossilized remains of tiny aquatic organisms called diatoms and are microscopically very razor sharp. So using diatomaceous earth in this way can both keep them out of your garden beds, but if they touch it, it will kill them. Both cinnamon and diatomaceous earth are only effective when they are dry. So if you live in a humid climate or have had rain, you're going to need to apply it a lot more often. Another great method is what some would call natural repellents. Now I would call them natural ant confusers. I'm not sure that's a word, but that is how it works. Ants leave pheromone trails for other ants to follow. That can help mark a trail from the colony to your garden beds or into your house. Ants use their strong sense of smell to follow these trails. By mixing and spraying certain ingredients, it masks the smell of these pheromones. Mix equal parts white vinegar and water and add a few drops of essential oil like peppermint or citrus, and then spray it on ant trails and entry points. The strong odor confuses the ants and can send them looking elsewhere for new digs. Don't forget about your garden's natural allies. Ladybugs eat the aphids that could be attracting ants and praying mantises eat the ants themselves. Attract both to your garden by planting humble flowers like fennel, dill, and flowering carrot. Introducing them into your garden can help maintain a healthy ecosystem and clear your garden of ants and aphids. Of course, baits and traps are a solution that works, but a lot of times store-bought baits and traps include chemicals that you don't want near your food and they might kill other beneficial insects in the garden. A simple DIY ant trap can be made with materials you probably already have on hand. To do this, you will need borax and sugar or honey. You will also need some kind of container, a yogurt container or a small sour cream container. I love finding ways to repurpose coffee K-cups. Borax is a detergent, so it is non-toxic, but not to ants. Mix two tablespoons of borax with one fourth cup of sugar or honey. If using sugar, drip in enough water to make a paste that's a little on the dry side. Punch some holes in the sides of the container to let the ants in and put the mix inside. Cover the top with aluminum foil to keep the rain out. Place these traps in problem areas in your garden. The borax will start killing the ants within 24 to 48 hours, which is great because it gives the ants time to take it back and share with the whole colony. And remember to regularly monitor your garden for any signs of ants. Catching the problem early can make it easier to control. Keep an eye out for ant mounds or unusual concentrations of ant activity near your plants. If you have other pest problems in the garden, like birds, caterpillars, larger insects, or even furry creatures, click this video for a foolproof method on deterring 90% of them. I'll see you guys next time.